Well, we saw Energy Secretary Chris Hewn in that report. He's been in the North East today to open a new renewable energy business. 400 jobs are to be created at a former shipyard near Billingham on Teesside. The £20 million factory will make parts for offshore wind turbines. Here's our business correspondent Ian Reeve. The newest and one of the biggest investments in the region's renewable energy sector, turned on appropriately by the Energy Secretary. A £20 million factory that will build the plinths that offshore wind turbines sit on. All it needs now is some orders. Companies that are involved in this area know that it's going to be a very rapidly growing business and if they get their offer right, if they get the technology right, then they're going to have a great future. The company here, though, is convinced it can make money from the new sector. It's already talking about supplying a massive wind farm planned off Redcar. There are 27 monoplows to be built for that, which uh, you know, would put about um, four or five months' work to this facility. So we're very keen on getting that. And fingers crossed we should hear something positive in the next few days. And again, I shall ask the minister if he can uh, put a little bit of pressure on the people that make these decisions. The new factory is on the site of a former shipyard. The old slipways are still here, but that industry's long gone. The last ship set off for sea more than 45 years ago. But the hope now is that offshore wind schemes will create 20,000 jobs over the next 10 years in the northeast alone. A consequence of the government's aim to see 20% of all the country's electricity generated by renewable sources by 2020. This Teesside company then is doing its bit. The button's been pushed on the manufacturing process. And perhaps here it's the start of an industry that might grow to rival one of the past. Ian Reeve, BBC Look North, Haverton Hill, Teesside.